When people started talking about globalization, there was a kind of messianic view that it would change everything, that globalization would sweep the state away, that the state would no longer be the main actor. When I taught international relations back 30 years ago and the globalization literature was starting, people were predicting the end of the state. So there was like a continuum through history. The state was a temporary phase, uh, maybe from 1648 through to maybe the late part of the 20th century, where it would be swept away as multinational companies, as terrorist organizations, as international organizations took over the landscape and the state would be relegated to being less important. That's not happened, because what's actually happened is at the same time globalization has strengthened some forces in society and weakened others. Just as the state is less able now to control its borders, to control itself, to what happens to it, its populations are more aware of what's happening and call upon the state to do even more. So you've got this paradox which is that globalization, which was seen as sweeping the state away, in some ways has strengthened the state. Because people say, control our borders, stop these cheap goods coming in, don't allow these people to come into our country without, without the right visas, you know, don't let terrorism enter. People are pointing to the state and needing it more. And yet the paradox is just as people are saying, protect us from terrorism, it's actually more difficult to do, precisely because globalization makes it easier for all these international, transnational forces to operate. So the paradox is the state is at one and the same time more needed, but less, less autonomous. And the result, therefore, is globalization transforms the nature of the state.